بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو پی ایم ڈی سی آن لائن لیکچر روم دس از اسوسیٹ پروفیسر شہریار قریشی ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک کارڈ کیرچ آف لاز کیرچ آف was a professor at Heidelberg, Germany and he has invented spectroscope and founded the science of spectroscopy. They also have discovered the elements cesium and rubidium and invented astronomical spectroscopy. Kirchhoff formulated another Kirchhoff's rule, namely a cool substance will absorb light of the same wavelength that it emits when hot. First of all, you must have to know that why we use Kirchhoff laws. We usually use Ohm's law. to calculate simple circuits but if we have circuits complex circuits with many resistors and many sources so for complex circuits we will use Kirchhoff laws there are two types of Kirchhoff laws The first one is called KCL, Kirchhoff's Current Law. And the other one is called KVL, the Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. In the board exam, they often use different words for Kirchhoff laws. Uh, you must have an idea about it. The first one is define and explain Kirchhoff laws the second one is differentiate between KCL and KVL and the third example is explain junction rule and loop rule sometimes uh, in short questions uh, they could ask how junction rule is related to law of conservation of charge and how loop rule is related to law of conservation of energy so you must have an idea of these relations so first of all we are going to discuss junction rule the junction rule states that the sum of currents entering a junction equals to the sum of current leaving the junction that is sum of all the currents must be equal to zero and remember that junction rule is associated with conservation of charge or we can say that junction rule is manifested from law of conservation of charge similarly loop rule says the sum of potential difference across all the elements around any closed circuit loop must be zero or sum of all the potentials around a closed loop must be equal to zero now remember loop rule is associated with law of conservation of energy now first of all we are going to explain Kirchhoff's current law also known as KCL or junction rule you can see in this diagram that there are different branches for currents and there is a single junction at point O at the middle and you can see current 1 is flowing into the junction Similarly, current 2 is also flowing into the junction. 
Now C current I3 is leaving the junction, I4 is also leaving the junction and I5 is also leaving the junction. So these two currents are entering the junction and these three currents are leaving the junction. Now we will apply Kirchhoff's current law. You can see I1 and I2 are entering the junction. So they both are taken as positive. I3, I4 and I5 are leaving the junction. So all of them are taken as negative because they are leaving the junction. And according to Kirchhoff's current law, the sum of all the currents at a junction must be equal to zero. So by equating the equation, we can get I1 is equal to I2 or I1 plus I2, the sum of current entering is equal to the sum of current leaving. This can also be concluded, the sum of all the currents about a junction must be equal to zero. Now let me explain how this law is associated with conservation of charge. You can see here that sum of current entering is equal to sum of current leaving. Now current stands for charge per unit time. So the charge per unit time entering is equal to the charge per unit time leaving. By cancelling the time on the both side, we will get the total charge entering is equal to the total charge leaving, which proves conservation of charge and you know that conservation of charge says charge can neither be created nor destroyed and here this is the manifestation of law of conservation of charge because neither of the charges been created nor destroyed the charge has been entered into the junction and leaves the junction dear students now kirchhoff's voltage law Kirchhoff's voltage law says in a series circuit, the total voltage supplied by the source must be equal to the total voltage used by all of the loads in that path. You can clearly see in this picture that here is a machine which is generating potential energy. So, with the help of this machine, total potential energy is gained by the people. And then when they came down, the total potential energy lost. Similarly, you can put a cell here. Cell is the source of energy which provides the gain. And we use resistors as a load and resistors drops the potential. So the potential will loss. Generally the statement would be the sum of all the voltage changes across the circuit or loop must be equal to zero. Now I'm going to teach you very important and simple three rules. Sometimes some teachers or some textbook use different rules, but these are the simplest rules by applying which we can easily calculate Kirchhoff's voltage law for any kind of circuit. Rule number one, select a path for current to flow. Now it's your choice. Whatever the path you select, you can manage. The second important rule that all resistors are potential droppers must be taken as negative. As resistor drops the potential, it consumes the energy, so potential drops. So whenever you encounter the resistor in your path, uh, you have to take it as negative. Now third important rule is, when moving from negative, positive to negative terminal of the source, EMF will be negative because you are moving from positive to negative it means the potential is dropping because from positive to negative potential drops so it 
must be taken as negative and while moving from negative to the positive terminal of the source then potential must be taken as positive because there is increase in potential because uh, we are moving from minus to positive we are moving from lower to higher now dear student look at this diagram you can clearly see that there are two sources here E1 and E2 and we have also two different resistors uh, you can also see that uh, both sources are not connected directly it means that the positive terminal of this source E1 is also connected with the positive terminal of this source E2 now we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law first of all we have to select a path for current to flow so we have selected a path A B C D A starting from point A first we will comes to point B when then E1 the negative terminal of uh, source E1 and then we are moving from negative to the positive terminal the source increases the potential that's why E1 will be positive then we will encounter the resistor R1 and according to rule all resistors are potential droppers so we will write this R1 as negative. Now source E2 you can see that from point B to C the source uh, positive terminal from positive terminal to negative terminal we are moving from positive to the negative terminal of the source from positive to negative terminal of the source it means potential is dropping so for the drop of the potential we will write E2 as negative and again from point C to D R2 is a resistor and resistor is taken as negative so this is our general equation now equating the equation I R1 and I R2 will be positive and there will be a sum of potential sources and there will be a sum of potential drops so we can say that the sum of all the EMF supply to the circuit is equal to sum of all the potential drops in the circuit of the loop or mathematically we can write this so this is the definition of Kirchhoff's voltage law now dear students we are going to discuss how Kirchhoff's voltage law is associated with law of conservation of energy we know that EMF is work done per unit charge and IR potential also is work done per unit charge so work done per unit charge supplied is equal to work done per unit charge drop or the energy supply by cancelling Q on the both sides the energy supply is equal to the energy drops which proves law of conservation of energy dear student hope you will understand the Kirchhoff current law and voltage law for any further questions you can write the comments your assignment is to solve this circuit which has been taken from your course book solve the circuit by using Kirchhoff's voltage law and derive two equations for each loop thank you very much